today we would like you to go outside and look for spiders and wood lice. We're all used to seeing lots of spiders, especially indoors during the winter time where it's nice and warm, around the light and in the corners of rooms, that's where you'll find your cobwebs. But we want you to come outside and one of the best places to start looking is around buildings, especially in places like this where you get a little bit of shelter from the rain and the wind. Or what about around a windowsill? Always lots of webs around windowsills, and window frames, or even any holes or nooks and crannies in bricks. So if you want to introduce lots of different spiders and wood lice into your garden, what you need to do is create lots of different habitats. So have you look around me here, we can see we've got short grass and mossy areas. That's where you'll find lots of spiders like the wolf spider. They don't make uh, a web, they jump on their prey as they're walking past. So have a closer look in the short grass like this. Another fantastic habitat is dead wood. So if you come over here, Standing deadwood is a fantastic habitat for lots of invertebrates and you'll find lots of spider webs on the naked branches. Another fantastic thing you can do is create a log pile. So whenever you're doing any work on trees or if you know someone who's a tree surgeon, get them to drop a load of logs off at school or in your garden and create a habitat pile like that. Another fantastic habitat is wood or stone that's on the ground. So if we lift a big rock like this, remember to do it carefully, you might see lots of wood lice, there's a slug underneath there, some earthworms, a couple of ants, no spiders there. Let's have a look underneath this wooden... Here we are, lots of wood lice. They're obviously eating the, the dead wood. And here we've got the web of a, of a spider. And if you look closely here, you can see it's possibly the female. Oh, and I think the male is, is over here. There we are. Very just gently just nudging it to get it to move. Obviously, we need to be really careful with these. When we're looking for bugs, we have to make sure that We don't hurt them. Now if you're quick, you can catch some of these spiders and take a, a closer look at them. And if I just carefully put that back down, we can use some of these different ID guides which are available to identify. I think this one is a, a lace webbed spider that you can see in that picture there. And obviously, if you do catch things in bug pots, be very, very careful when you're putting them back. Put them back where you found them. And be very, very gentle when you're putting things back. Mm -hmm.